first part of the day really isn't too bad for us. We're already starting to see those rivers, those creeks, and those streams continuing to fall down too. Where we have been dry overnight last night, that really helped us out. The Bluestone River at Spanishburg, it was slightly rising yesterday. It was above flood stage, which is at 12 feet. It is below that now this morning, so it's going to continue to fall throughout today. So that's some good news there. We're staying dry for the first part of the day, but by this evening, some snow is actually going to push in. So we have winter weather advisories out in preparation for tonight's event. So for Raleigh, Wyoming, McDowell, and Buchanan counties, this winter weather advisory will begin at 6 p.m., continue until 7 a.m. Thursday for Summers, Monroe, Giles, Mercer, Bland, With, and Tazewell counties beginning at 6 p.m. as well, but lasting a little bit longer until 12 p.m. Thursday afternoon. Our precipitation is going to swing through all things to a system down to our southeast. It's mostly rain down to the south, but where we have high pressure up to the north, that's going to bring some colder temperatures for us. So we'll see a switch on over to some snowfall. Some of us at about six, seven o'clock could see snow mixed with a little freezing rain, plain rain, but overall, this is going to be classified as a snow event, especially overnight tonight. We're staying dry for much of the day by 5 p.m. Could have a stray shower move in. Looks like most of the precipitation will come around dinner time, six to seven o'clock, hitting our southern counties first, and then continuing to stretch across all of the viewing area. As we are looking at a little bit later this evening, where we could see a little bit of rain and also where the ground temperatures have been warm these past couple of days, snow might not stick immediately, but we're going to get cold tonight. So snow will definitely stick a little bit after 10 p.m. I think it's going to be the best chance we'll start to see snow accumulate because temperatures will fall tonight into the teens, lower 20s. We're going with a 70% chance for the snowfall and we'll be a little bit windy overnight tonight too. So our wind chill values Tomorrow morning, starting us off in the single digits and the teens for much of the area. So let's track out this snow event for us. We'll have a little bit of sun this afternoon, but of course, clouds will build back in. Rain snow mix at about 6, 7 o'clock. Primarily snow, though, is going to rush through. We can see that darker blue shade that's indicating a little bit of some heavy bursts of snow. So that is possible overnight tonight. By tomorrow morning, the morning commute, definitely need to watch out for some slick spots. We'll have, we'll have some snow already accumulated on the ground a couple inches, but snow will be more scattered and lighter tomorrow morning. Doesn't look like we'll see too much improving conditions, though, because of our temperatures. Temperatures tomorrow, well below freezing. Highs will only be in the 20s. Some of us, even the upper teens, won't even warm up to the 20s. So we're looking at a pretty cold day tomorrow where slick spots are still possible into the rest of the day on Thursday. But we will have some sun build back in for us Thursday afternoon. So looking at snowfall totals for our area, we're going with one to three inches for most of us, three to five inches in parts of Tazewell, Mercer, Bland, and with counties does look like we could see some heavier snow try to build into parts for there. So we need to be careful tonight and all day tomorrow for some slick spots, some black guys, some poor travel conditions overall. If you are doing any traveling tonight, you need to be aware of poor visibility, especially if you get caught in some heavier bursts of snow. Temperatures for the next few days are looking to be a little bit cool, sitting in the 20s, possibly getting in the 30s on Friday. So a cool end to the work week will be a little bit drier though as we head into Friday.